high-risk myeloma has, I'd say, undergone some variability in definitions over the last five to 10 years. I think most of us are now coming to a uh, more uniform definition. Uh, the IMWG came up with a, a position paper a few years ago that defined high risk based on fish abnormalities from the bone marrow biopsy examination. And the fish results that were associated with high risk disease were uh, the translocation 414, deletion 17 or 17P, the translocation 1416, translocation 1420, um, non hyperdiploidy, uh, and 1Q gain. And those are all those abnormalities were identified uh, to confer a, a, a worse prognosis overall. And if you take all of those abnormalities, that would define about 20 to maybe as high as 30% of patients with, with multiple myeloma. Now, um, there's also been a variety of staging systems, um, but the, the revised international staging system actually tries to uh, group patients into risk. And I think a lot of us have gravitated towards the revised ISS stage three group as really being the highest risk patient group. And that is the, that's defined actually as, um, you know, patients who um, are ISS stage three, so they have to have a beta two microglobulin that's greater than 5.5, and they have to have either an elevated LDH or um, they have to have a translocation um, 414, 1416, or a 17P deletion. So if you take the revised ISS stage three, we actually can narrow it down to about six to 10% uh, of patients. Uh, we, like the lymphoma group, have also come up with some, uh, some other definitions. We now describe a double hit myeloma. It was actually initially described by the Arkansas group, and they described it as two groups of patients, actually, patients who had a 17P deletion, and then on the other allele, the non-deleted allele, they would have a mutation in um, the P53 gene, and that was considered a double hit, so two 17 hits per se. And then the other double hit they described was basically if they had revised ISS stage three disease and they had a 1Q gain, that was their other double hit. And those patients, um, they showed survival curves over time for treatment at Arkansas, which a lot was total therapy. They did, you know, they didn't do so well. Um, you know, my, the Mayo Clinic in their SMART definition has offered a different definition of double hit, and that is just to have two of these high-risk abnormalities, which makes it a little easier because we don't really do sequencing of the of the seven the the, the allele that's not deleted in um, in patients that have the 17p deletion. Uh, one controversy is also has been um, you know what what level of 17p deletion is really important because you'll get a back fish and they'll say it's this has been found in five percent of the plasma cells examined. And is that really a 17P deletion? Is that really a high risk? And some people think it's, it has to be more than 20%, but it goes up to as many as 60%. Some have defined it as more than 60% uh, of the cells have to have the 17P deletion. So there still is a little controversy on that, that ground. Um, but that in general is how we've defined kind of the high, you know, the novel high risk or the new day high risk definition.